Hey, good day, friends. Lance Klessig here. Just want to give you another quick update from the field. You know, we are blessed to work with farmers all across Winona County, and, and it's awesome. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and we get to work with a lot of guys that are trying different things, and ladies, for that matter, that are trying different things, whether it's cover crops, whether it's no-till, it's reduced till, um, lots of different things. And But just wanted to give you a quick update. So we're standing at a field break. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a field break here. Above us was soybeans last year. Below me here, corn stalks, okay? What I'll point out is both fields are seeded with cover crops. But I, wanted, I want you to come down here and take a, just a, a quick look at... So people say you can't, you can't no-till, you can't plant green, all this sort of stuff. Where does the, where does the trash, quote-unquote, go? What I would call armor. When you look at this field out here, um, there's very little corn stalks from last year. And folks, this is what it looked like last spring. This, right here. That's what it looked like. When we get our soils priming and pumping, getting carbon into the ground, we take a field like this that has rye cover crop in it, with a lot of corn stalks, this farm went, um, I think he said around 200 and a quarter average, something like that, dry. We plant into something like this, okay? Plant green, spray it off. A few weeks after we get it planted, maybe up three weeks, maybe, depending on how well, how fast the corn comes out of the ground, what kind of conditions. A year later, back pedal here a little bit, This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Yeah, there are some corn stalks here and there, but there's been very little tillage. Specifically, one pass with a vertical till last year after soybeans. And the farmer would tell you when he's combining these soybeans, most of the corn stalks are gone. Well, where do they go? He didn't bale them. He didn't make it for silage. I know this farmer really, really well. He's become an awesome friend of mine. Why? It's because he actually has soil biology. He has soil life that's now taking back over and decomposing. It's taking that armor. It's making it into food. It's a habitat. It's insulation. And so, again, we can go from corn stalks like this that you can't no-till into that. You're going to have those stalks there for two or three years. A year later, folks, here's where we're at. So again, just wanted to provide some food for thought about armor, about no-tilling, about planting green. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Choose to make it a great day. We'll catch you on the next video.